Laravel 9 with KPS. Hello and welcome to my Laravel 9 class. Today we will discuss Composer install and Composer update. First of all about Composer install. When you run Composer install in your terminal, it reads the composer.log file and install dependencies which are mentioned in this file. But what if the composer.log file does not exist? So, in this case, it reads the composer.json file and install the dependencies, then creates the composer.log file. Composer install will not update anything. It will just install all the dependencies as specified in the composer.log file. In detail, 1. Check if composer.log file exists. If not, run composer update and create it. 2. Read composer.log file. 3. Install the packages specified in the composer.log file. When to run composer install? Composer install is primarily used in the deploying phase to install our application on a production server or on a testing environment using the same dependencies stored in the composer.log file created by composer update composer update when you run composer update command it simply process the composer.json file and install dependencies and creates the composer.log file with updated dependencies. It does not process the composer.log file, but it updates the dependencies version in the log file. Composer update will update your dependencies as they are specified in composer.json. For example, if you require this package as a dependency, mockery slash mockery 0 0.9 and you have actually installed the 0.9.1 version of the package running composer update will cause an upgrade of this package for example to 0.9.2 if it's already been released in detail composer update will 1 read composer.json 2 remove installed packages that are no more required in composer.json. 3. Check the availability of the latest versions of your required packages. 4. Install the latest versions of your packages. 5. Update composer.log to store the installed packages version. When to run composer update? Composer update command should be used only in the development phase of the project because it updates their dependencies and also updates the composer.log file if you run this command in production it can break your code because it will update the dependencies which is not good in production because version may change see you next lesson Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.